New at 10, a safe syringes bill in Pennsylvania has stirred up a bit of controversy among recovery advocates and law enforcement. A state house committee recently voted 15 to 10 to pass a bill that would create an exception to the state's drug paraphernalia ban for these programs. Fox 56's Alicia Hercules is live with a reaction from law enforcement and rehabilitation services. Alicia. Aaron, while Pittsburgh and Philadelphia do offer safe syringe programs, Pennsylvania is one of 10 states in the country that do not offer these services statewide. Safe syringe programs are often endorsed by recovery facilities and medical professionals as a way to curb the spread of diseases like hepatitis and HIV. We want to make sure that folks are not using them, not passing them along, or reusing them over and over again, causing more harms to their body. Harm reduction does not enable drug use. What harm reduction does is do its best efforts to provide evidence-based practices to minimize risk of infectious disease and death. Safronsky says that safe syringe sites will not only be a location for people struggling with addiction to receive clean syringes, but also to get important forms of testing such as HIV tests or STI tests. Luzerne County District Attorney Sam Sanguidoce, who has been leading an anti-drug initiative in Luzerne County, says that he fears that safe syringe programs could do more harm to communities than good. Uh, the data is showing we have a very poor record of getting those people actually into recovery. So what it does is basically attract drug users from outside your area into your area who then begin living either on the street or in uh, residences very near the distribution sites. Despite fears of the increase in crime, Safronsky says that multiple studies conducted by the CDC show that these programs do not increase crime rates. According to the Pennsylvania Harm Reduction Network, safe syringe programs are five times more likely to engage people who eventually enter into a recovery program. We know in Pennsylvania that we could be doing more. We need to disassociate um, the stigma of drug use. Now that the bill has passed the House committee, it can now make its way to the House floor. Reporting live from the control room, I'm Alicia Hercules with Fox 56 News, first to 10.